Hi, and welcome to ColitisBridge.com, another uh, episode of Bikini Body Rescue. Today we are working with our legs, and we are starting with something a little different. We're actually doing our standing Pilates workout. So now that you have some core strength and you know the moves, we can take some of the stuff that we've been working on on the floor, in horizontal position, take it to a vertical position, and use our alignment and all of our core muscles to support us. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of footwork. I want you to open up your feet, about hip width distance apart, okay? Ground your feet into the floor and try to create that little bit of space under the arch of your foot. So imagine there are like little beam shapes, okay? Your knees are not locked and not bent. They're in a neutral position. The front of your hip is open. Now, take a look one second on our alignment from the side. So in this position, um, most, a lot of people they'll have their tailbone sticking out like this or tucked under. I want you to find the perfect neutral position. So move your hips a little bit around and find that neutral position where your hip bone is in, kind of in line, almost in line with your ankle. So it goes one straight line all the way through here. Your tailbone is looking down, you have that nice neutral curve going on in your lower back. Your core is already tight, you know that already, so everything's pulling in. You have that corset, that magical corset around your waist. Good. Your ribs are not popping out like this, you're not slouching, same thing. You have that string pulling the crown of your head up, right? Shoulders are down. Take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, let your chest drop a little bit. Feel how it drops and puts your ribcage right where it needs to be. Good. Keep that nice long neck, shoulders, or just relax in a neutral position. So I'm going to turn around. You stay where you are. Okay. Now keep in this position. Let's start with our footwork. On the inhale, simply lift up on your toes. Exhale, go down. And inhale, lift, exhale, down. Keep your core tight, lift, and down. Imagine there is like a um, very low ceiling over here, padded low ceiling, and you're trying to push that ceiling away. So you're letting it working to push yourself up, and you're going down. And again, push that ceiling away. Think about it. And down. You're getting your calves this way. You're feeling your leg muscles wrapping around your bones. One more time, lift and down. Okay. Make sure that your feet stay in parallel position. We're gonna add a little bit onto our footwork. On the inhale, bring your arms up. Good, stay on your toes. If you need something for balance, make sure that you have a wall or a table around. And now bend your knees, your heels are still up. Drop your heels down, straighten up. Let's do it one more time, very slow. Inhale, lift up. Push the padded ceiling away from you. Lower yourself down, don't lean forward. Keep your upper body in line. Go as low as you can, drop your heels down. Maybe try to feel a little stretch. And down. And again, inhale up. Let's go a little faster. Down, heels down, and up. And inhale, down, good, and up. Arms are here just for balance. If you want, you can keep them down, good. That actually makes it a little bit more challenging. One more time, up, bend, and down. Now let's reverse our footwork. So your heels will stay down, gonna calm down. Don't go too low, don't let your knees go past your toes. Lift up on your toes in this position and grow tall. Come down. Down, up on your toes and grow tall. Come down again. Make sure to hold on to something if this balance is a little challenging for you. And up and down. Two more. Good. Up, down one last time. And good. Let's find our Pilates V, Pilates stance. So heels together, toes slightly apart. 
Okay, now I want you to glue your inner thighs together. Try to press them together. Imagine that you have um, a couple of pieces of paper between your legs and you're trying to hold them there. Don't let them go anywhere. Your glutes are also a little contracted on this one. Don't, uh, don't let your toes go to the sides too much. Keep them more like a narrow V. Good, now lift up, keeping those heels together. Keep those heels together. Come down. Good. Up, hold the piece of paper between your heels, between your calves, between your knees, and down. Now grow taller through the crown of your head. Pull, pull, pull yourself up and down. Everything's growing. Up and down. You should start feeling your activation of your inner thighs. That's what we are after on this one. And up, 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 up. Down one last time. Up, 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 good, stay here, stay here. Bring your arms out for balance. Keep your heels, you can let your heels go a little bit and go down to a little plie. Drop your heels and up. Good. Now the next one, uh, challenge yourself. Try to keep your heels together throughout. So then let, let them go. Find those sheets of paper between your knees, between your heels. Lift. Good, hold them there. Open up. Keep only the piece of paper between your heels, the rest open up. Let them go right in, a little bit in the front on the diagonal. Drop your heels, come down, and again. Inhale, lift. Bend your knees, keep that piece of paper between your heels, and drop down one more time like this. Lift, hold everything tight. Lower, heels down, rest. Let's try to reverse. So keep your heels down, calm down, plie, lift your heels up, keep that piece of paper. Now squeeze everything together, zip it up and down. Again, arm to here just for balance, so you can lift them by your sides, that's what I'm going to do right now. Heels are down, lower yourself down, knees are going a little bit to the sides, tailbone looking down, lift your heels up. Grow, grow, grow tall. Heels are glued together and drop. And again, down. Lift up on your toes. Grow, squeeze those inner thighs, zip them up all the way tight. Trying to find that zipping up motion all the way going through your midline towards your ribs and down. One more time. And that's going to be it for right now. Oops. And heels up. Lift, squeeze everything together and drop. Good, shake your legs off a little bit. And let's go into our single leg circles. Hands can be on your hips or to the sides. I'm gonna keep them here for right now. Open up your feet as wide as your hips. Bring one leg up for balance. Okay. Actually, before we go into our single leg circles, let's practice our balance a little bit, okay? So that's a very simple move. Go side to side. But try not to rock as you're going to the side. It will let you engage your core really deep. One side is usually more challenging than the other. So the right side is pretty easy for me, but when I'm going to the right and to the left, I really have to work to keep myself still. The best thing is to practice this in front of a mirror. So just take your time. Maybe after we're done with this workout, just to kind of see how your body responds when you go from one leg to the other and try to keep yourself still. But now we're going to single leg circles. So hands are on your hips, keep everything still, lift one leg up, tighten your core, find your corset. If you can, straighten up your leg. If not, just keep it back. From this position, just like on the floor, hips are staying still, you're going a little bit across, down, around, and up. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, up. And three. It's way more difficult doing it over here than it is on the floor. And rest. And now we're going to do the same leg, opposite direction. Good, softly point your toes, a little external rotation, and go on the outside through the midline and up. Inhale, exhale, up. Keep growing through the crown of your head. Same thing that we do on the floor. And three. And two. Your supporting leg is really working right now to stabilize it. And down. We're going to do six each direction on the other leg. So bend your knee. 
straighten up your leg, a little external rotation. Make sure that you found your inner support. And on the inhale, let's go across, around. And inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, up. Three, good. Two. Again, make sure if you need to hold on to something. One. Little break. We are going in the opposite direction, same left, left up, and to the outside across and up. Keep reaching, elongating your left, and three, and two, and one. Good. Shake your legs up, a little break, open up, wide plie, heels are looking at each other. Toes are looking outside, very simple, go down and up. We all know how to do it, right? Down, make sure that your bottom is not sticking out like this. Keep everything in one line. Okay, two more. Okay, now bring your feet a little bit closer, just like we would if we're doing white position on the reformer for the footwork. Go down. Lift your heels up, straighten up, drop your heels down, lower, lift your heels up and down. So it's a little easier variation of our footwork. And giving our legs a little break here and down, lower, lift your heels up and down. Let's reverse, heels are down, lower, lift up, lift and down. Lower, lift, core is tight, lifting up, rolling through the crown of your head, up and down, one more, lift, up and down, now lower, and only lift, and come down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, and three, and two, and one, stay here, Left and down and lift and lift and lift and three more. Abs are working right now. Two and one. Good. Shake your legs up. And let's go for our side kick variations. So if we were on the floor, you would be laying down like this and this leg will be working. So it's going to be the same thing but standing up. I'm going to turn around so that you can see me. Um, reach your leg out, lift up, grow nice and tall. I'm going to bring the leg forward and back. Try again not to go to the side, keep your balance up and down. So that's easy. And back. Up and back. Now flex your foot and kick up two times. Kick, kick, gentle, reach. So you're going a little bit through the side. And kick, kick, reach. Side kicks. Classical side kicks standing up. Kick, kick, inhale, reach. Don't lean forward. Two, and reach. Last one, and reach. Good, stay here. Bend your knee. Knee goes a little bit to the side. Let's go to work on our glutes here. Lift, lift, lift. And four, and three, and two, and one. Good. Stay here. Bend your knee. If you need, go ahead and take a break. We're going for the circles. Up to the side and down. Up to the side and down. One more like this, and let's try to straighten up the leg. Run, run, jump. Up to the side. You can go quite as far as you would laying down. And one more. And let's reverse. Bend the knee. Three with the bent knee. If you need, you can stay with the bent knee position. Whoops. Straighten up and go up through the side. Up and through the side. And two. Whoo, and one. Excellent. Shake your legs off. You're supporting your leg is really working right now. Let's go. I'm going to turn around on the other side. I'm going to work the other leg. Find your position. First, just lift 
coming down. Keep reaching through the crown if you have, don't lose that length. And two kicks up, flex your foot, kick, kick, gently reach. Kick, kick, reach. Kick, kick, a little bit for the side to reach. Kick, kick, reach two more. Kick, kick, reach. One, let's stay here. Bend the knee, let your knee lift a little bit to the side and lift. Good, stay tall, don't lean forward, stay upright. If you need to, you can bring your arms out for balance. And good. Lift, lift, and lift. The body can be pulses on that, but we'll do them just in case over here. And two, one more. And good, let's keep this leg bent. Let's go for three circles with the bent knee. And two, and three. Let's go for a straight leg. Out, and three, and two. Keep growing taller, and one. Then bend the knee opposite direction. Three, two, and one. Straight leg, go to the side. And two, and three, and four. Good, shake your legs up. Let's turn around and finish with our hot potatoes. So again, I'm going to be facing you. One leg goes to the side. You're still trying to stay as upright as possible. Lift your leg up. Good. And now just lower. And lift. You don't have to go very far. Just go as far as you can. Keep yourself straight so don't tr start leaning to the side. And lift and down. Lift, down. Lift, down. Lift. Good. Now for the hot potato part. Lift and forward. Lift, forward. Lift. Flex your foot. Reach through the heel. And a little faster. Lift. Really makes you work your core to keep that balance. You can see I'm shaking a little bit already. And last one. Good. Shake it up. Let's do the other leg. So keep your balance. Leg is out. Long leg. Reaching out through the toes a little bit and up. Good. Find your core support. And four, don't go very far, three, two, one, good, let's add that hot potato, reach, a pointed toes and flex the foot, bringing the leg forward, reach, flex the foot, bringing the leg back, and out, and a little bit faster. Focus on the speed and control here, doesn't matter how far you go. We don't need big momentum of this exercise, big range of motion. Stabilize yourself. As you can see, I'm having trouble with this one today. And two, and one. Whew. Shake those legs off. Let's give them a little nice stretch. Open up your feet to the sides, a little bit wider than your hips. Put your hands on your thighs. Gently slide down. Good. Keep your lower back at that nice stable top. You'll feel your hamstrings stretching already. If you need, walk your feet out a little bit more so that you can lower your hands on the floor. You don't have to put your palms down all the way. Maybe only your fingers will be touching. Keep your neck long. Put the weight of your body into your heels. Reach out through your tailbone as long as possible. Reach through the crown of your head in the opposite direction. Good. Gently bend your knees. Good. Now stay in here. Imagine that somebody is lifting only your bottom up. So you're putting all that stretch into your hamstrings. And down. Your upper body is staying in the same spot. And lift up, leaning with your tailbone. Lift, 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 lift. Put the weight of your body into your heels. Your toes are slightly off the floor. 
your back is stretching a little bit too. And lift, leading with your tailbone. And down one more time. Left. Keep your neck long. Good. Bring your feet, walk your feet a little bit closer together as long as you keep your fingertips down. Put your hands back on your legs and walk yourself up. So I never want to see your rounded, slouched lower back here. Okay, take a nice big inhale. And big exhale. And we're done for today. Thank you for working out and I'll see you next time.